Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm the Gamers Digester and today, uh, as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're going to be comparing uh, sort of like an Amazon case, if you will, from uh, a name that I can't pronounce versus something that's a little bit more reputable, something like Subcase D Brand, uh, which I do have on the Steam Deck here. We'll go back and forth, pros and cons, um, and I'll give you guys my honest opinion on that. Yes, I'm in PJs. Yes, that's my foot. We're doing the video style a little bit differently today. Normally, I kind of have it mapped down, looking down like this, but I figure I, I wanted this to be a little bit more personal. So first things first, I wanted you guys to know that this is made for the dog ally. Um, kind of blew me away when I saw that. Uh, some Minecraft legends on there. Very well received game. Uh, nope. Uh, so first things first, we'll just jump right into the video. I've got a couple things I want to go over throughout the video. Um, I want to go over that with you guys. If you think that's kind of a weird looking object, definitely stick around to the end because I'll, I'll talk about that. And uh, yeah, it'll kind of be its own whole thing. But so if you're familiar with my channel, uh, you know that I've kind of talked about the accessories problem, issue, crisis, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever word uh, grabs you the most. Um, but I felt that for probably the first two months of the ally being out, there was a, a pretty big issue, right? With just these trashy, and I really don't mean to like hurt anybody's feelings or anything. They were just like, honestly, like 3D printed off the press because uh, no major company was making cases. So now we've kind of got to the point in the Allies lifespan where we're, what, like three months out, and there's actually decent cases online. This was sent to me. I will have a link in the description. There's no partnered links or anything. This was just, they hit me up, said, hey, you want to check this out? I said, sure, um, because honestly, I still wasn't sold on the fact that there was decent cases, um, so I'm not going to hold back on this thing. I will let you know that. So uh, first things first, the biggest thing for me was it needs a stand. So this case here definitely does fit the bill. Um, I'm, this is going to be a little difficult here, one-handed, but I'll do my best. So bear with me, guys. So this is the Unicorn Beetle. I'm not sponsored. Hell, I wish I was. I love their cases. This has a beautiful case here with a built-in stand. And that was my biggest thing, right? Was that these cases that are being sold don't have stands. And I did love that this was a very, very similar design. Now this case is probably $20, $30. This will probably be in that exact same price range. Most cases, uh, most manufacturers or whatever, people who are selling these know not to go over $20, $30. No one's gonna even look at your case. Unless it's something like D-Brand or the Kill Switch cases that have crazy accessories that you can attach onto the back you're not going to see cases cost more than 20 30 bucks and if they are if it's not from like a, a like a decent brand if that makes sense you might be getting scammed i would definitely say do your research into that company what do they do is this something normal for them um, or are they just drop shipping so stand really nice i love to prop these things up on desks which i will do now um I love to prop them up, of course, for videos, for different things, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I like to play with controllers, which kind of sounds goofy, but um, I, I have multiple monitors here. I've got multiple screens. So sometimes like ADHD me wants to play CSGO on there, watch YouTube on here and play this um, and have a controller down here so I can be kind of switching between all three. Now that is super rare case scenario, but I bet you I'm not the only one who, who enjoys having a stand on their device. So having that for me was a pretty big deal. And it's been very sturdy. I've honestly felt like this has held up pretty well. Yes, the angle is a little bit lower and I'll show you. So see how that kind of starts down in the middle there, if not lower. Um, it might not be as sturdy, like it starts to, like you could tip it back with not as much force as it would take something like this because this starts way higher up there. I feel like this is like military grade. Um, which is, I just wish they made one for the ally, but Hey, it, it, it seems like a lot of companies weren't taking this seriously. As you guys know, we like the ally here on this channel. There's a lot of people who do, if you had some faulty issues, yes, curse AMD, they, uh, their quality control really isn't the best, but as a whole, the, the product when it works is great. Same with the Xbox 360. Yes. Red ring of death was unfortunate. They fixed it with the slim. Kind of, you know, like things do get better 
uh, software patches, stuff like that's came out. Things have gotten better. But back to the case really quick here. So things that this came with, that something like this did not. This came with, and see they're kind of spilling out all over, um, lots and lots of accessories. Now, I don't even want to... You guys can read that if you want. I, the, the dog ally has me scared. Um, so two things, I guess like three things that this came with that uh, were, were kind of uh, out of the ordinary for me. I'd never seen this before. So like them coming with a screen protector, that's fairly normal. And for the one, I can't remember your name, who's been commenting. I used to have one that went right there down to the bezels. Now it fits. Look at that. Now you're uh, now you can sleep at night. I have a screen protector that fits, and it actually is really nice. Look at that, nice. Uh, I I kind of look at them at how clear the quality comes through. Yes, the reflection is pretty gnarly, but hey, um, you you get for what you pay for, and this was just included, so I'm very happy with that. Um, this was weird, anti powder ring. Now I'll show you what that is. Oh boy, if I even can, can you see that right there? under the joystick. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone watching, but now when I move this around in a circle, now, let me start with this. My least favorite thing about controllers, especially Xbox controllers, is that there is nothing stopping the joystick from rubbing against the plastic. So it's like directly plastic on plastic. And if you notice, that's why that's called anti-powder because there's a powder that forms from the rubbing around in a circle. If you're playing FPS games, racing games, it happens to everybody. PlayStation 5 controllers do a very good job at making sure that doesn't happen by having a pla like a softer plastic ring around on the inside that when it touches it, it just feels buttery smooth. Now, I don't know why Xbox doesn't do that. I don't know why a lot of these don't do that. This doesn't do that. And you can't necessarily tell on camera because that's white. If that were black, you'd be able to tell. There's like a little ring, like a mark around that from it rubbing plastic on plastic. I'm looking at these long term and as far as longevity, having the plastic on plastic just, oh my gosh, it hurts my brain. The friction stuff rubbing powder, I'm always getting a wet tissue to kind of wipe it off. And it's just like, why is this a thing? PlayStation has figured out how to so solve this. Unless it's like uber patented, can we just do away with it? Like it's honestly just so dumb to me. So that being included was really weird, but like weird in the sense that I'd never seen it before. So I'm actually very happy that that was included. Now these, I feel like were overkill for me, right? I'm, I'm thinking airflow. This thing needs air to go in this or else it's going to blow up or a thousand degrees. And these, so you peel them off. They're kind of hard to peel off to, to be honest. Um, and when you get them lined up for me, it was, it, it just wasn't enough. Like I, I feel like it just made it look a little bit worse. The, the gray, the white on white didn't match. This is like a cream that was a solid white and still it was a different white than that. So it was just a lot of conflicting colors and extra, airflow restriction that for me wasn't necessarily like anything that I cared about. So I didn't actually put those on. Um, and, uh, that was actually a really cool addition. I was, I was looking on Amazon to pick one of those up. If you're not familiar with what that does, it's kind of like, I'm going to be reviewing this later. Uh, it, it's something that changes the direction of the cable, right? So normally when you plug your phone, it plugs into the bottom and it's straight, it goes straight down. Now imagine if everyone held their phone upside down, the cable would start to fray, the, the actual like plug that you're plugging into might start to wear. It's just not a great design choice if, you're, if we're being honest here. Um, biggest culprit is the Nintendo Switch. Whoever designed that needs to be put on trial for having the USB-C come out of the bottom. How many people are gonna be playing in their beds and now they have a, a cable jamming straight into their stomach. It's just it's just bad design, in my opinion. So having something like this that you can plug in to the actual uh, USB plug there, that one, and have it change the direction is great. You can have it come towards you if you're a freak. You can have it uh, point away from you, um, whatever the case may be. It just gives you a little bit more options and it saves your cable life. Um, if you, if you just have like a normal USB-C cable, you know, they're not necessarily built to be bent all over the place. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and some people commented, I made a post about this. They thought these were pretty cool. Me personally, right. Uh, I'll give you my honest opinion about joystick covers. I think they're great. Again, it's like a longevity thing, but for me, they add weight to the joysticks. One of the best things about a good joystick is tension 
and how lightweight it is, how responsive it is. Steam Deck kills that. It absolutely crushes that. While this case does make this a bit heavier, one thing that it didn't do is, is add any more weight to like the buttons and stuff, where a lot of these things that come with, they come with button covers, they come with things to cover all of this. It's like, when it comes to the actual device itself, like the joysticks, I honestly wouldn't worry about it. Replacing joysticks is probably the better option if, if it does get worn or break. Because having stuff like this, like, let, let's see if you can see that. When you flick it around, see that, look at that. Straight up to the middle. This bounces all the way back up. Like, a, like a, it'll, it'll register a whole nother input. Let me see if we can actually see that live on the uh, dead zone here. And then I'll take one off and we'll do a little comparison. Oh boy, put on the spot here. Is that not it? I don't think that's it. Configure. Yep, left stick. Ooh, let's see that. Is it gonna show it? Huh, maybe I'm not doing something right. I thought I could actually see that like visualized, but maybe if I click A on it. I don't know, but as you guys can tell, right? It flicks up, it goes, oh, see that snap? That, that's because of the weight of the joystick. Now, if you peel that off, you still have that snap, but it does kind of just go right back into place where that violently goes back up in the other direction. So yes, if you've got your fingers on the uh, actual joysticks, they're kind of hard to put back on too, won't lie. Um, it is something that's, that, that is usable. Now, final opinion, right? I'm just glad we have cases, right? <laughs> it, it's been such a long time coming. We finally have cases that are, are working for this that aren't super doo-doo. Um, for lack of better term, I've been pretty upset. And honestly, I think this one is fantastic. Uh, even though this isn't even for the right thing, this is for the dog ally. I love that so much. I don't even feel like I can pull, bring myself to throw this away because I, I don't know. I get a lot of things from overseas and sometimes the spelling of the grammar just isn't perfect. But uh, man, it's to me, it's just priceless. I love that. Um this is a great case. All props to them. I appreciate you guys. I don't I don't know the company name. It'll be linked down below if you guys are interested in something like this. It came with so many different things to do um, as far as accessorize your device, make it stand out a little bit. And this case feels great. It really doesn't add too much weight. This is super, super heavy. So as far as how it compares, I guess I should wrap this up back into the title. Yes, they compare greatly. You're getting probably five to ten dollars cheaper for something like this. You're getting a lot of accessories because they're trying to make this worth worth the worth the sale for you. Because it's them and every other company who who has pr pr printing presses, whatever, who has a foot in this kind of market, they're all going to be making stuff. So them including little joystick covers can seem kind of gimmicky, but if that's something you're interested in already, that's just one less thing you have to purchase. So. For me, I'd honestly give this a 9 out of 10, and that's not even me. Compared to what's available on the market for the Ally, this is a 9. Comes with the stand that I like, white matching almost. It's cream, not like the exact same white. Comes with a lot of accessories. Came with a screen protector that's not half bad. It's honestly pretty great, great fitting. And I love the clear down here. I think that looks great. You can still see the like line going back there. It's not reflective at all anymore because there's not like direct light. It's getting diffused through that plastic. But I think it does a fantastic job. Now, this. I'm trying to keep things, how should I say this? Like uh, gaming related, right? And I was sent this by a company called BenQ. And at the time, I didn't necessarily know how I was gonna wrap this into gaming. But it just so happens that Destiny 2 is really bad right now, and I wanted to go back and play Destiny 1, which is only on the Xbox uh, 360, Xbox One, and like PS4, PS3. So I was playing that, and I'm on Discord with a lot of friends, and this speaker, it's a conference speaker, right? So you set this down in front of your monitor or whatever. I've got my headphones in, uh, or a headphone in for the game audio, or the, the monitors playing it. And this was for Discord. And it was fantastic. I'll keep this short. but this, So this is a conference speaker that that catches like your audio a lot better than any other Bluetooth speaker or something like that. And it allows you, and my uh, fiance sits back there, 
Bro, check that out. Pick that up, nine bucks. It allows you to actually have like a conference call in Discord with you and your friends. She could pitch in. It was honestly a fantastic time. I've been using it a lot more than I thought it would than I thought I would. They wanted me to do this whole in-depth video. I just couldn't bring myself to do that because it's it's not super relevant to the to the to my community, if that makes sense. This is great for if you work from home due to COVID. There's a lot of people who are working from home now, but for gaming, this is great for Discord, but I just haven't found a lot of uses other than the past two weeks when I've just been playing a lot of console games and we're in Discord and my headphones don't have a mic, so I've just been using this. The, the voice quality is fantastic. It's Bluetooth. There's a lot of cool things. Um, I just thought I'd throw that in there for you guys. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. It's honestly been really cool. I didn't think it'd be something I was interested in. I'm glad they sent it to me. It's just I couldn't bring myself to make a whole 15-minute video talking about this where you guys are probably not even interested necessarily in the first place. So I just didn't want to bug you guys with that. But if you stuck around to the end, man, I appreciate every single one of you guys for sticking around. Um, kind of the handheld stuff. I don't want to burn everybody out by talking about it all the time. So videos have slowed down a whole bunch. As soon as stuff picks picks back up, switch to please, stuff will start speeding up and, and we'll get uh, rolling a lot better. So uh, again, I appreciate y'all. If you like the video, leave a like, uh, subscribe, talk amongst yourselves, see if I'm blowing smoke. Uh, what do you think about the dog ally? I think it, uh, I think it honestly performs really well. I I've been very happy with this, but I'll see you guys in the next one.